Hello and welcome. Let's talk about septic abortion. What is it mean by septic abortion? Any abortion associated with clinical evidences of the infection of the uterus and its contents is known as septic abortion. Criteria. Abortion is usually considered septic when there is the rise of the temperature of at least 100.4 degree Fahrenheit for 24 hours or more. Offensive or prevalent vaginal discharge and other evidences of pelvic infections such as lower abdominal pain and tenderness is present. The mode of infection. The microorganisms involved in the sepsis are usually those normally present in the vagina. The microorganisms include anaerobic like bacteria group, anaerobic streptococci, clostridium vulci, and tetanus bacillus. Aerobic includes E. coli, Klebsiella, Staphylococcus, Pseudomonas, and others. Mist infection is also more common. The pathology. In the majority, about 80% of the cases, the organisms are of indigenous origin. In about 15%, the infection either produces localized endomyometritis surrounded by a protective leukocyte barrier or is to the perimetrium tubes, ovaries, or pelvic peritoneum. In about 5%, there is generalized peritonitis and or endotoxic shock. Clinical features. There is a history of unsafe termination by an unauthorized person. The clinical features of septic abortion include the woman looks sick, sick and anxious, temperature more than 30 degrees centigrade, chills and rigors, Persistent tachycardia more than 90 beats per minute, hypothermia lesser than 36 degrees centigrade, abdominal or chest pain, tachypnea more than 20 breath per minute, impaired mental state, diarrhea and or vomiting, and renal angle tenderness. Pelvic examination uh, reveals offensive purulent vaginal discharge with uterine tenderness and boggy feel in the POD. The clinical grading The grade 1, grade 2, and grade 3. Grade 1, the infection is localized in the uterus. Grade 2, the infection is spread beyond the uterus to the parametrium, tubes and ovaries are pelvic peritoneum. Grade 3, the generalized peritonitis and or endotoxic shock or jaundice or acute failure is present. Investigations. Routine investigation includes cervical or high vaginal swab, blood for hemoglobin estimation and urine analysis, including culture. Special investigation includes ultrasonography of the pelvis and abdomen, blood for culture, Serum electrolytes, CRP, serum lactate, and coagulation profile. Plain accident of the abdomen and chest. Now, management. General management includes hospitalization and the patient should be kept in isolation. High vaginal or cervical swab should be taken for culture and drug sensitivity and gram staining. And vaginal examination is to be done to note the state of the abortion process and extension of the infection. Now, principles of management. To control sepsis, to remove the source of infection, to give supportive therapy, to bring back the normal homeostatic and cellular metabolism to assess the response of treatment. Now, management according to grade. Grade 1. Drugs includes antibiotics, prophylactic, anti gas gangrene syndrome, and anti tetanus serum, analgesics and sedatives, protransfusion, and evacuation of the uterus is performed at a convenient time within 24 hours following antibiotic therapy. Grade 2. Drugs includes antibiotics, antimicrobial therapy, either by piperacillin, tazobactam, or carbapenem plus clindamycin. Energy 6, AGS and ATS are given. Blood transfusion should be done. Clinical monitoring is done. A surgery includes evacuation of the uterus and posterior corpotomy. The indications for ICU management in case of the grade 2 septic shock. Persistent hypotension, persistently raised serum lactate more than 4 millimole per liter, pulmonary edema, mechanical ventilation, area protection, renal dialysis, impaired consciousness, multi organ failure, hypothermia, and acidosis. Now, in case of grade 3, the management includes antibiotics, supportive therapy for generalized peritonitis by gastric suction and intravenous crystalloid infusion. Endotoxic shock or renal failure, if present, should be managed. Patient, patient may be given intensive care unit management. The removal of the uterus should be done irrespective of the, irrespective of the parity and next is to be removed or preserved according to the pathology found. Thorough inspection of the gut and momentum for evidence of any injury is mandatory. And even when nothing is found in laparotomy, simple drains of the pus is effective in case of septic abortion. Complications Immediate hemorrhage, injury to the uterus and to the adjacent structures, particularly the bowels. The spread of the infection leading to generalized peritonitis, endotoxic shock, acute failure, and thromophlebitis. Remote includes chronic debility. Chronic pelvic pain and backache, dyspareunia, active pregnancy, secondary infertility due to tubal blockage, and emotional depression. Now, prevention of the incidence of the septic shock. To boost up family planning acceptance in order to curb the unwanted pregnancies, 
rigid enforcement of legalized abortion in practice and to curb the preparedness of unsafe abortions and to take antiseptic and aseptic precautions either during internal examination or during operation in spontaneous abortion. End of the topic.